dear shareholders, a very cordial welcome to the annual general meeting of Fresenius. This is our company. I have been sitting up here on this podium for the 12th year in a row now. As of 2005, I have been the chief financial officer, and today is I am sitting here for the first time and addressing you for the first time as the chief executive officer. And I'm very pleased about this because it means because it means I can report to you about a truly great company. And I'm also allowed to lead a truly great company, which is a fascinating challenge, a great honor, and, of course, a great responsibility. For us, our patients always come first. Our products and services stand for quality and reliability. And we never rest on our laurels, no. We are constantly searching for even better solutions to the benefit of our patients. This is what it means to be Fresenios. This is the basis of our success, and this is the path that we will deliberately continue in the future, even under my leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look back at last year. It was a very eventful year for Fresenius, and a very successful year as well, like so many years before that. Each of our four business segments has developed outstandingly, but one event really stands out, namely the acquisition of Chiron Salud by Fresenius. If you take a look at the purchase price, it was about 5.8 billion euros, and by this measure, it is the largest takeover in the history of Fresenius. What is Kiran Salud? Kiran Salud is the largest hospital chain in Spain. It has 44 hospitals. In addition, there are 43 outpatient treatment centers and approximately 300 centers for occupational health care. This group is represented in all of the densely populated regions of Spain, Fresenius Helios and Chiron Salud uh, means the combination of two leaders, both in terms of quality and size. The benefits, growth potential, synergies, and a broad opportunity to exchange knowledge and experience in both directions. In this way, we will continue to improve the care for our patients, both in Spain, but also here in Germany as well. This acquisition is more than just a big purchase. It is a genuine milestone, because now Fresenius Helios is an international company, just like our other three business segments have been for many years now. This will create more opportunities for cooperation, starting in Spain, and potentially, if our expectations are met, in other countries as well. So, Fresenius Helios now has two pillars, Chiron Salud in Spain and the Helios Clinic in, here in Germany. And here, in our home market in Germany, Fresenius Helios is continuing to achieve highly successful growth. Through our own efforts, we have treated more patients than ever before. And we have acquired another hospital, Niederbach, near Düsseldorf, with 20,000 inpatients every year, 500 beds, 1,000 employees. It is a perfect complement to our already strong presence in North Rhine-Westphalia. There are now 112 Helios hospitals in every region of Germany, and this has created a unique position for us. We have also invested a tremendous amount of money in particular, in more modern and even better equipped hospitals. Last year, we spent about 350 million euros. 
On the slide, you can see a photograph from Hildesheim, the, the groundbreaking ceremony for fourth building housing patient wards. This will be completed in 2018. In Schleswig, a, a city in northern Germany, we moved the entire hospital into a new building last summer. And not far from Frankfurt, namely in Wiesbaden, we're also building a completely new facility in which we're investing more than 200 million euros. This new building will have more than 900 beds and 22 operating rooms. It will open in 2020 on time and also within our budget, as we are known for doing. Just a couple of weeks ago, I was in Duisburg in North Rhine-Westphalia, where we also inaugurated a completely new building. We invested 50 million euros there, and what did we get for our money? A hospital that meets the highest standards with the most modern technology, a design that minimizes the distance that employees and patients have to cover, high level of patient comfort, and a significantly expanded range of treatments. You know us. We are a solid, thrifty company, but for projects like these, we are happy to dig deeply into our pockets because they make our treatments better and they make our work more efficient. In short, they make us better. And in the end, everyone benefits from that, our patients and our employees and, of course, the company as a whole. That is you as our shareholders as well. So that's what I want to say about Fresenius Helios for the time being. But let us now turn to Fresenius Medical Care, where we were also able to celebrate a genuine milestone, namely 20 years as a company. On the left-hand side, you can see a photograph from when we went public in New York in 1996. The uh, friendly gentleman on the very left is uh, Dr. Crick, by the way. But we have been involved in dialysis significantly longer than that, since the late 1960s. Nevertheless, the establishment of Fresenius Medical Care in uh, 1996 was a huge step in a new direction. Since that time, we are not only represented, but have also been strong in both areas, products and treatments. And we have continued to grow very rapidly and very steadily. In the last 20 years, we have increased the number of patients that we've treated fivefold. We've increased the production of our dialyzers tenfold, and revenues have been increased 12-fold. Today, we have more than 100,000 employees, more than 100,000 employees at Fresenius Medical Care. This company is not only the world market leader, it's also the technology leader. We are continuously making dialysis better. This also means that we are not simply resting on our laurels. Last year, we introduced a completely new generation of dialysis machines, the 6008 care system. There's one out in the lobby. Take a moment, take a moment later and take a, have a look at it. It simplifies the workflow for clinical staff, it reduces waste, and it makes the overall treatment even safer and more efficient. And with innovations like this, the same principles apply. They benefit the patients, they help the medical staff, and they strengthen our position in the marketplace. We also increase the number of our dial dialysis clinics through our own efforts by opening new s clinics and also through acquisitions, including that of India's Sander Nephro Services, the second largest chain of dialysis centers, which has more than 50 such centers in India. And as you all know, the Indian India is the world's fastest growing major economy. In dialysis, our presence used to be limited almost exclusively to products, so this acquisition was a very important step. We also want to be the largest provider of dialysis treatments in India. 
In addition to this, we have also expanded our care coordination activities, which involve dialysis-related center services. This area already accounts for 13% of Fresenius Medical Care's total sales. And so, so we are building the basis for additional growth in this field. We acquired Xenios AG in Heilbronn, Germany, which has extended our range of services into the area of cardiac and lung therapies. All of this has been done with one goal in mind. We want to provide our patients with even better and more comprehensive treatments and care. 2016 was also an outstanding year for Fresenius Kabi in Europe and abroad. Every region grew. And I would particularly like to emphasize China and Latin America, where we once grew strongly. We produced very large quantities of medicines with impeccable quality. We also advanced the development of important products. Just think about our IV generic drugs. These are liquid pharmaceuticals that are administered intravenously, i.e. directly into the patient's bloodstream. Worldwide, we introduced about 80 new products in this area. We are making good medical care more affordable as a result, and we're also making this medical care more accessible to more patients. In the United States, we acquired another protection facility where we are making pre-filled syringes. You can see them in the upper left-hand side of this slide. Pre-filled sy syringes, that is that they are filled with a specific dosage of medicines that we produce as they leave the plant. Thus, we are offering additional safety for our patients and for physicians and nurses, both for patients because they reduce the risk of patients receiving the wrong dosage and because they reduce the risk of an injury. And we therefore believe that the demand for these products will also increase significantly. And even though the quality and efficiency of our manufacturing processes are already very high, we are continuing to invest. Our plant in Melrose Park near Chicago will undergo a major expansion and upgrading, and we will be investing about $250 million by its completion in 2026. Germany continues to remain an important location for us. We have started an expansion of our plant in Mila Thüringen, where we produce medical disposals such as feeding tubes for clinical nutrition. With investments like these, we also want to do justice to our responsibility to reliably provide patients with urgently needed drugs and medical products of the highest quality and at affordable prices. Fresenius Vamad also developed very nicely last year. Order intake surpassed the mark of 1 billion euros for the very first time. We further expanded both of the company's two business areas, namely the project business but also the service business. On this slide, you can see that each segment now delivers almost the same proportion of sales. A decade ago, services accounted for only about a third overall. In services, contracts are long-term contracts, making them less risky, and they tie up less capital. Therefore, a balanced distribution of revenue is good for us. Let us take a look at the development by region. Europe continues to remain the most important market for Fresenius Vomit. Not least, of course, because of Austria, Vomit's home market, but also because of very large contracts here in Germany. Think of the modernization of Berlin's Charité Hospital or the University Hospital in Schleswig-Holstein, where we are modernizing existing buildings and erecting new ones, and at the same time, we are ensuring that these hospitals can continue to operate normally and smoothly. And thus, we are also contributing to ensure that our patients receive the best possible treatment. Fresenius Vomit is also expanding its activities in the emerging markets. There were many new contracts last year. 
from Laos, Ghana, Senegal, Tunisia, and Bolivia. These are just a few examples. Fresenius Vamid is doing some very important pioneering work here, giving ever more people access to high quality medicine through us. At the same time, we are opening the healthcare markets of the future for our company. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, 2016 was an extraordinarily successful year for Fresenius. And this is also reflected in our business results. In fact, we are looking back on another record year, our 13th straight record year in sequence. The numbers in detail, sales reached 29.1 billion euros, an increase of 5%. Our operating profit, also called EBIT, increased uh, 9% to 4.3 billion euros. And our net income at almost 1.6 billion euros was 12% higher than in the previous year. I think you will agree that these are outstanding results. They also show that even in politically and economically unstable times, Fresenius continues to grow stably and in a dynamic fashion. Dear shareholders, when our earnings increase at Fresenius, our dividend grows as well. And that's for, uh, and therefore we would like to raise it by 13% uh, to 62 cents. We hope this will receive your approval. It would be the 24th consecutive dividend increase, and definitely not the last. Not only our dividend has grown steadily, but our share price has also risen steadily. 13% last year. Compare that with Germany's benchmark DAX index, which gained only 7%. Once again, Fresenius has proved to be a very worthwhile investment. And the major rating agencies agree with us. Since last year, all three uh, of them have rated Fresenius investment grade. This is additional confirmation in the fact that the financial markets have trust in the strength and the stability of our company. Dynamic growth is also reflected in another figure, the number of our employees. Last year, we had an additional 10,000 employees, a plus of 5%. More of, than half of these people are working in new positions. We are creating jobs. At the end of the year, we had more than 230,000 employees. But this figure is already outdated because, as I've already said, at the end of January, we closed the acquisition of Kiron Salud and welcomed approximately 35,000 new colleagues. In the meantime, more than 260,000 women and men work for Fresenius in over 100 countries. Without them, the fantastic success of our company would not be possible. And I would like to express my deepest thanks on behalf of our entire management board, but I also believe on your behalf as well. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. That also gave me an opportunity to cough a second, clear my throat. Ladies and gentlemen, the course is also set for growth in the future. We made an excellent start in the new fiscal year of 2017. You can see the figures for the first quarter on this slide. Uh, Double-digit increases in sales, operating profit, and net income. And this is expected to continue. For 2017, we're expecting our 14th consecutive record year. We forecast sales to increase by 15 to 17 percent, and net income will grow even more strongly. We're expecting an increase of 19 to 21 percent. And this is based on the figures for 2016, which was already a very strong year. As you all know, our focus is on growing through our own efforts. That is the way it's been in the past, and this will also continue in the future. Um, 
But you also know that we move Fresenius forward with major strategic acquisitions. Last year it was Kiron Salud, and only a few weeks ago we announced our next big step, this time at Fresenius Kabi, and this time with two simultaneous acquisitions. First of all, we will be taking over Acorn, a major U.S. provider of generic pharmaceuticals. The company has plants in the United States, Switzerland, and India, and employs approximately 2,000 people. The purchase price is almost five billion U.S. dollars. With Acorn, we are extending our range of generic drugs. At first, in the United States, where we will also be present in retail pharmacies, and we will also be offering new forms, eye drops, creams, and sprays. Acon will also give us an entree into new treatment areas, ophthalm ophthalmology and dermatology, for example. And whereas Acon's products have only been available on the U.S. market to date, Fresenius Kabi is active around the world. So that will be an additional step, namely, of gradually introducing Acon's products selectively in other countries. The second large acquisition was the biosimilars business of Germany's MAC, KGAA. This means we are entering the field of so-called biological drugs. These are drugs that are not created through chemical synthesis, which is the standard method. Instead, living cells are used. These cells produce the needed active ingredients. Even biologics have patents that eventually expire, and then the road is clear for imitations, which are cheaper, and these are called biosimilars. In this respect, biosimilars resemble our conventional generics, and what is true for generics also applies to biosimilars. They are just as effective, but significantly cheaper than original preparations. That makes them accessible, to bigger patient groups. This is the ideal time, in our opinion, to enter biosimilars. <coughs> Biologics are becoming more and more important. They can be used to effectively treat serious diseases, including a large number of cancers, as well as rheumatism, diabetes, and other illnesses that afflict millions and millions of patients around the world. As I said, there are many parallels to our generics business, and key regulatory and other rules have been clarified. Both acquisitions are an excellent strategic fit for Fresenius Kabi. They broaden our range of high-quality yet affordable drugs and take us into new and attractive areas of growth. These acquisitions also strengthen Fresenius as a whole. With Kiron Zalud, we expanded our area of therapy, and now we are expanding our product business. Both of these areas are decisive for our success, and we definitely want to continue to grow in both of these areas. Um, we are firmly convinced that we will be successful in doing so, and this is why we have set new targets for ourselves for the 2020 fiscal year. We are targeting sales of between 43 and 47 billion euros, with a net income of 2.4 to 2.7 billion euros. This means we want to increase both sales and net income by about 50 percent in only four years. It is clear these are very ambitious targets. And this is like running a marathon race at the pace of a sprint. We are already a very large company with more than 260,000 employees and almost 30 billion euros in sales. So why do we want to become even bigger and why so quickly? As I said at the beginning, we are never going to let ourselves become complacent or satisfied with what we've already achieved. That is true for products and services, but it is also true for the company as a whole. For us, growth and size are not ends in themselves. They, their greatest value is in serving our most important goal, the health and well-being of our patients. Size simply makes us better. 
How can this be possible? Let me illustrate this with a couple of examples. One example is Fresenius Helios. In Germany alone, we operate more than 100 hospitals, and we accumulate an enormous amount of data, which we gather and analyze and compare, anonymously, of course. The more data you have to compare, the more powerful and revealing your findings will be. The data from 10 hospitals tell you more than the data from one, and the data from 50 hospitals more than the data from 10. But we can access data from 112 hospitals just in Germany. On the basis of this data, we have established a unique quality management system. We measure, control, and improve the quality of our treatments. The system is industry leading in terms of its structure and its transparency. If a hospital is below average, we take a very close look at the hospital. Together, we look for improvements. Very good hospitals provide examples from which other facilities can learn. And all of this is being done public. On the internet, you can find an array of quality-related data for every acute care clinic, including the mortality rates, the use of advanced surgical methods, and you even find data on infections. In this way, we are openly exposing ourselves to further pressure. We do this to get even better in the interest of our patients. Ladies and gentlemen, size also means more knowledge. And so Fresenius Helios is able to draw on the combined knowledge of more than 100,000 employees. Some time ago, uh, a number of so-called expert groups in which doctors and nursing staff from individual locations exchange information and insights from their specialist areas were established. They can access the knowledge and experience of colleagues at every Helios hospital. And this will happen even more in the future because every acquisition makes us smarter. We are integrating very carefully and deliberately, but it is already clear that we will learn a tremendous amount from our Spanish colleagues and vice versa. For example, Kieran Salute has an enormous amount of experience in outpatient care and is also very advanced in digitization. Helios, in turn, offers, among other things, the highly developed expertise in measuring quality that I've already mentioned. Fresenio Sahilis has a model, learn from the best. This is how we proceeded during the integration of the Rhone Clinic and Hospitals, and that's precisely what we're doing with Kiron Salud. We will be sharing our knowledge, and we'll use this knowledge to develop even better solutions, and this will benefit uh, patients in both countries enormously. Another example of why size matters, Fresenius Medical Care, the world's largest provider of dialysis products and services. The experience gathered in more than 3,600 dialysis centers in more than 50 countries come together here. We use this to improve our processes and workflows in the centers. We also use it to improve our actual treatments. And we use it to steadily improve our dialysis products. That is a huge advantage for us for our patients, and ultimately for you, our shareholders. The size of Fresenius medical care is also an asset in care coordination. This is a relatively new line of business which involves various dialysis-related medical services. For patients with chronic kidney failure, dialysis is not the only essential treatment factor. Dialysis patients must take many drugs, and vascular access must be cared for. The correct nutrition, nutrition is important. As a rule, dialysis patients also have other illnesses. We want to care for these patients comprehensively because then we can optimally tailor the individual treatments and coordinate them with each other. This helps patients and reduces overall health costs. Fresenius Medical Call is better suited to this task than any other company because we have the necessary size, we have the essential knowledge, we have the data, and the experience to assess and interpret this data correctly. We also have the financial strength to utilize this. This enables us to provide even better treatments and care for our patients. Size also help us, helps us at Fresenius Copy. Here, the challenge is to reliably deliver urgently needed medicines of the highest quality. Even well-known producers repeatedly encounter quality problems, and that can lead to supply shortages. This was recently in the news. 
And these are the kinds of bottlenecks that we wish to avoid. And that's why we are investing many millions in our production facilities. I've reported to you about some of these investments. And this is something that only a large, economically healthy company can carry out. We are continuing to develop our proven production technologies and then introduce them into our international network with our production. We have an international network, including 70 facilities worldwide. Here, too, all of our colleagues learn from each other. What's more, they all step in and help when we need to react quickly to rising demand and thus ensure that patients receive frequently life-saving medicines. Fresenio Svamid has now implemented more than 800 projects in about 80 countries. In its field, this company is the clear market leader. Here, too, we have a unique uh, treasure trove of experience, thanks to our size. That helps us to find precisely tailored solutions around the world. This could be a polyclinic in a remote region in Africa or a university hospital here in Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, growth is good and important. It strengthens our company. Size is good and important. It makes us better. And this is why we want to continue with growing, and we will continue to do so, because this will enable us to offer even better products and therapies, and because in this way we are able to contribute to high-quality medicine that remains affordable. In the future, this will remain our commitment. Ever better medicine for more and more people. I am very pleased to be able to lead Fresenius along this path into the future, and I'm very proud to do so. And you too, our shareholders, can be proud of your commitment to our company. At least, I hope you are. Proud of your investment in our company and of your trust in us, because in all these ways, you are helping us to continue to grow successfully. Thank you very much.